Hello Pisces, welcome. Uh, today's video is going to be a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection and how you feel about each other. As always, this is a general love reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest, and check out my playlist for Pisces if you want to see if there's any other videos that resonate for you. So let's get into this. Let's see, just guys, messages for Pisces. For Pisces, please. What does Pisces need to know? What is going on in their connection? Okay. Now, uh, this reading will be for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. First card out is time out. Timing, patience, waiting. Time is of the essence. And then we have closed off, guarded, defensive, resistant. Being closed off may blind you to the truth and block new opportunities. So with closed off, I'm getting that either communication has been cut off in some way or it's not as it used to be. Someone could have ran away, blocked, or ghosted. And I feel like with time out, I, I feel like, hmm, I wanted to say, I feel like time has passed, but then I was stopped. That's not the message. So if that's not the message, then I'm thinking it could be that someone is waiting to open up. Perhaps, let's see. Tell me more for Pisces. Ooh. Tell me more for Pisces. What's going on in their connection? Courtship, number four. This is very new energy. This is like starting a connection. So there could be something coming in here. The early stages of a connection here. Someone being interested in you or vice versa. Okay. Let's see. So either this is a new connection or if this is someone from the past, they want to kind of start over, start from zero so let's see spirits angels guides what other messages do you have what is going on in this connection at this time for pisces let me scoot up here what's going on for pisces at this time knight of wands what's going on for their connection And eight of cups interesting so i feel like someone did walk away at some point or maybe is considering walking away here there could also be um a long distance connection here but with the knight of wands it's almost like someone wants to come in quickly what's this knight of wands about yeah this could be somebody visiting you Coming to visit. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands. We have Cancer energy here with the Chariot. There's some sort of movement here for sure. Ooh, Seven of Swords. Interesting. Uh, you know what I got? Someone's planning something. I normally don't get that with the Seven of Swords, but I, I just heard the, I heard planning. They're planning something. What's the Seven of Swords about? King of Wands, yes, because they want something. This is someone that is planning something. There's attraction here or a goal. There's motivation here. It could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. This could also be um, a situation where someone wanted to move things very quickly. Tell me about the Eight of Cups, like a whirlwind romance or you know, something that maybe became very physical quickly. What's with this Eight of Cups? King of Pentacles. There's the Eight of Cups here. Uh, 
Ace of Swords. Maybe this was a conversation about the future of the connection, about taking the next step, becoming more stable. I'm also getting like, um, there was um, a conversation that led to a departure or led to someone taking time to themselves. I have the Hermit here. And then after that, I have the Tower and the Three of Swords. So definitely something happened here. Virgo energy with the Hermit. I feel like this is some something that was very a very difficult conversation. Um, and it's like someone had to separate themselves to deal with this. Can I get one more for this Eight of Cups? The High Priestess. So there could have been something here that was unknown or someone cut communication. I don't know if you discovered that someone was, you know, not serious about you. They were serious enough to take things maybe physical, but not serious enough to um, take it past that level of intimacy and into like actual commitment. Others of you, I feel like someone's planning to visit you for sure. And um, it, it, I feel like this is after there's been some sort of a departure and maybe they're coming in to talk about something that they kept to themselves or was a secret here because but I don't think it was a secret I, I, I'm, I'm picking up like someone that um, how do I say this it's only a secret because you're not communicating so if you had been in contact with this person regularly I feel like this wouldn't really be a secret I'm hoping that makes sense. Hopefully when I get into your energies, it becomes clearer. But this is what I'm seeing so far as what's going on in the connection at this time. So let's see. Let's dive into your energies here. Spirit, tell me about Pisces and this other person. What are their energies at this time? Tell me about Pisces and this other person's energy, the person they're dealing with. What do we need to know at this time? Tell me about Pisces. Okay, Pisces. So you have some sort of a s premonition. Um, I think you might also have been the one because the lizard is a card about having like a sixth sense, an introverted mindset, needing to kind of step away from the noise tell me more about the person that pisces is dealing with cosmic egg this is a cycle this is about a new cycle this is endings and beginnings here with the cosmic egg now i have you on this side pisces i have your person on the other but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more Let's get some more. Tell me more about the energy that Pisces and this other person are bringing to this connection. Tell me more. Tell me about Pisces. Let's start with you, Pisces. Tell me about Pisces. Oh, that's way too many. I'm trying to get like one or two max. Tell me about Pisces, please. Romantic, charming, passionate. So I feel like your emotions for this person, you're very attracted to this person. I also think um, maybe you're traditional or are wanting something more traditional. I don't know why I'm getting that with that card, but I am almost like you expect to be courted and you're not gonna take anything less or perhaps this is just the way that you think of this person. Maybe they are a romantic. Maybe that's how they were able to um, get your attention. Oh, and they have intense, profound and earnest. So I think this was a very intense connection. Maybe this was a connection that was hot and heavy. Um, chemistry, sparks flying. 
Tell me about this person that Pisces is dealing with. This could be you also having intense feelings for this person. Hope, dreams, and longing. So this person has some sort of um, wish here, something that they're longing to have. Tell me more. Could be tied to a new cycle here. Tell me more. Curious, interested, and inquisitive. So I think this person is looking into you. Interesting, because I do have that Seven of Swords. There's something that they want, that they're drawn to here, and they want. Bottom of the deck, I have United Cooperation and Harmony. They could be wanting to have some sort of rebalance, restoring um, something that, ha you know, that has to do with you, basically. Hmm, I wonder why there needs to be balance, though. Let's see. Tell me more about these two, Spirit. This person could be wondering about you, like what you're up to. Um, and they're having some sort of hope here. And I think the hope is to have some sort of new cycle, like I said. Tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces, Spirit. Look at their energies this time. Strength, Leo energy. Then we have the Eight of Wands. Movement, communication. Interesting. Let's, let me start with this Eight of Wands first before I say what I want to say. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. What's this Eight of Wands about? Right. What's this Eight of Wands about with Pisces? Page of Swords. Oh, okay. So this is about communication. I feel like you want to talk to this person. Or perhaps this person is going to reach out to you, like I said, um, with this Ace of Swords. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. Page of Cups. Yeah, this is someone that's definitely, they're going to reach out to you. Or this is what you're hoping for. But this could be even an apology with the Page of Cups, Page of Swords. You know, they're going to declare their interest in some way. So why strength? Why strength here? Page of Wands, my goodness. Why? Look at all these pages. Plus the Eight of Wands. Why is strength here? Justice. Libra energy. Yeah, I feel like this person's going to contact you to restore balance or this is what you're wanting. It's almost like justice. You, you're getting justice by whatever communication this is. Bottom of the deck, the world. This could be a whole new start for you and this person. And I don't know, it's very interesting. I, It could very well be that you're the one that starts the communication off for whatever reason. And maybe you need a little bit of courage to do that. But for others of you, it's I'm, I'm picking it's like this is what's coming in. Tell me about this person that Pisces is dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? Seven of Swords again. So this is somebody that, I, and again, I, I get that message of someone like planning things in secret or having like some sort of plan. Yeah, they want something, Queen of Wands. Same energy here, same energy here. Seven of Swords, King, King of Wands. Seven of Swords, Queen of Wands. Can I get one more for this person? This could be a fire sign for sure. King of Swords, they want to talk for sure. For sure they want to talk. And then bottom of the deck, the Ace of Wands. So, I mean, this is pretty clear. Let's see, can I get one more for the Seven of Swords? I just want to make sure the Seven of Swords doesn't come with any strings attached. I really feel like this is someone, 
Yeah, Emperor, Aries energy. This is someone that their goal is to bring something back to to stability, um, take charge of the situation, uh, be bold, be decisive. Bottom of the deck, I have the star, Aquarius energy. So they could very well be focused on healing or they have some sort of hope here. Can I get one more for the seven of swords? Knight of swords. Yeah, I think they're a little bit um, worried about communicating. And I only, I only get that with this particular deck because of the knight of swords is very like a tough conversation or a harsh truth, a blunt truth in this particular deck. Um, I think this person's trying not to do that almost. Bottom of the deck, I have the ace of swords and right behind that, the wheel of fortune. Holy crap. And followed by the world. Look at this. Look at this energy. This is crazy. This is someone that definitely wants to do things that result in a change, a big change, a new start. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. The Magician. Yeah, they want something for sure. They are trying to make something happen here. And they're thinking logically. Um, they're being very analytical, planning, you know, trying to use their intelligence, their their mind. Tell me about this King of Swords. Nine of Wands. Okay, I just heard Overkill. <laughs> so they might try a little bit too hard. Tell me about the King of Swords. Death, Scorpio energy. So yes, there's definitely... Okay. Um... Whatever they're manifesting here, I think it's going to cause a huge change in your connection. So that could mean a lot of things. It could mean that um, your connection goes to the next level. It could be that your connection starts again. It could even be that your connection ends. But for some reason, I don't think it's ending the connection just because I don't think you are talking to this person at, the, at, at this time. But this is someone who's very, um, it's almost like they are preparing themselves mentally or emotionally for rejection or for this to not really work out um, with this nine of wands. It's very guarded energy, defensive energy, but, but it's an energy of not giving up, you know, despite how hard it is, they're not going to give up. Can I get one more for the magician? I just want to. See if I can get a little bit more clarity on this magician. I get one more for this magician spirit. Oh, I got two. Three of swords, three of wands. Interesting. I think whatever they're trying to manifest here, they've waited a long time to do it. And I think it's because it was very painful. Either they caused you pain or they were trying to heal themselves. Some of you are definitely dealing with a fire sign. I keep seeing fire like symbols. Like, look, this is a three of wands, but there's a lion there. So I think whatever they're manifesting, it's having to do with this. This pain, this difficulty. Um, in the bottom of the deck, I have the world again. So this is someone that I feel definitely wants to have a do-over or at least wants to try to communicate with you and see, you know, if you would be willing to have this be restored or have this do over. Can I get one more for this person that Pisces is dealing with? What are they thinking or feeling? What are they thinking or feeling about Pisces spirit at this time? What are they thinking or feeling about Pisces? I feel trapped. Okay, can I get one more? What are they thinking or feeling about Pisces? I love you. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing. Um, I think this is someone who is... Um, 
okay the message is it's it's like they can't forget you it's like they're always thinking about you they're always wondering about you and maybe you cut things off with them maybe you left them hanging and pining after you because i feel like this is someone who is trapped in this cycle of just thinking about you they could also be trapped you know in another situation i didn't really get that message with the other cards here um and i don't really see anything else here where this person could be trapped but i do have the seven of swords twice um so it could be that they're having to be sneaky or secretive and that could only mean one thing right like they don't want someone else to find out something i mean that's that's definitely a possibility but i feel like this is someone that's almost like this nine of wands energy they are unable to give up uh, thank you so much for watching pisces i hope this resonated for you i hope you got something out of this reading if you enjoyed it please consider liking subscribing leaving a comment i'd love to hear from you uh, thank you so much to everyone who takes the time out of their day to do that i really appreciate it and um, i will see you all in another video very soon take care